Some people like a rounded beveled bush. Quite frankly, I'm not a fan of the bush, but to each their own. What's going on, everybody? How's, uh, how's your day going? I'll tell you how mine is. It's like working in tomato soup. The only thing I'm missing is a grilled cheese, but we're not here to talk weather. Here to talk work. I'm out here at one of the abandoned properties to take care of. And the guys asked me if I could take care of these bushes for him. Done it before in the past. Want to do something for you guys today. I'm going to show you how and why prune bushes like I do. As you can see, this stuff, I mean, that's, that's over a foot of growth. We're going to take it, shape it, make it all look real pretty. Even if it is an abandoned house, he wants it to look good. Doesn't want to get reported on it. So, that's what we're going to do today. What are we using? The Red Max CHTZ 600s. Um, my opinion, these are probably my favorite hedge trimmers that uh, are on the market right now. I, I know these ones are a couple years old. It was a year and a half ago. I ended up putting a new engine in them. Uh, the one that was in it had some issues with the crank seals instead of just, uh, you know, pulling it apart and trying to rebuild uh, crank seals, everything from the ground up. I just pulled the whole thing out and put a new one in it. Um, 24 inch bar. These, they could be sharpened. They're not, uh, I mean, they're not great, but they'll do the job. Like I said, Red Max is probably my favorite brand for hedge trimmers. Um, I know we use a lot of steel equipment, as you can see. But when it comes to trimming, trimming shrubs, these are my go-to. Red Max actually used to have a, uh, a set, I believe they were the 2460s. Um, really like those ones. Those were the predecessors to these. And then, and this has probably been at least 10, 12 years ago, they had some... I, I don't remember the model number, but they were like a shorty set. Basically cut this section off, and that's what you're left with. And those things were so nice. They would, uh, they weren't heavy. I believe these ones here weigh, I think, 13 pounds, um, which doesn't seem like a lot until you're carrying it around all day. But those other ones, man, they were so nice, and you could run them until they burn up, and they were not going to say they were cheap to repair because I found that everything Red Max is expensive, but it's worth the investment. So, enough of me talking. I'm going to get geared up here, throw you guys on my chest, and we're going to get to work. thing I really like about these CHTZ 600s, this little feature right here, if you pull this out, 
that handle will work things for you. That'll make it easier if you're going alongside a shrub or that you can lay it sideways, keep your hand straight and prune right down the side of that. All right, so as you saw there, trim the outside first. Trim the outside, get the skirt down at the bottom. Anything hanging down, you wanna get that taken care of. Then start working on your top. Reason you do this, as you free up this side, you'll be able to see what all needs to be cut at the top. So now, take those shears and just lay them level straight across there. Um, gonna be honest with you, I'm not going for perfection on this. Not gonna try to land a 747 on top of it like I do with other hedgerows. This, just wanna take it down, make it look halfway presentable. So, here we go. As you saw on the edge here, I had those shears kind of at an angle and went down the side. The reason I did that, see if I can get a good angle for you here. I wanted to bevel this edge, give it a little rounded look. So this thing looks like, I don't know, a big loaf of bread now. Um, you'll see some that are straight up and then straight over, kind of like a box. Um, I normally do the beveled edge to give it that rounded look. Um, some people like straight up and down, boxy looking bush. Some people like a rounded beveled bush. Quite frankly, I'm not a fan of the bush, but to each their own. There you go, guys. That's how you do it. Take it from overgrown and mangy like that. Get it all shaped trimmed looking good it's pretty simple honestly you don't need a 600 pair of hedge trimmers 
you can probably get away with uh, some battery powered ones and do the same thing that this did. Last thing I got to do, clean off the top, clean up all this down here. One thing I will say, most importantly, don't forget to clean the top of your shrubs off. When I first started in the business years and years ago, that was one thing that I constantly forgot to do. And believe me, I heard about it from everybody I worked with. New guys missing everything on top. Make sure you clean the tops of your bushes off. You don't want this stuff setting up top like this and dying. Because what it's going to do, it's going to look terrible. <laughs> on a taxis like this, if you got dead stuff on top of it, over time it lays there. The stuff that's around it is not going to grow. <clears throat> you're going to get holes and you're going to get brown patches in there. Customer's not going to be happy. Now, normally I'll use a rake, rake everything off. For this, I'm just going to use my blower. I'm going to blow everything off the top out into the grass, pick it up from there. But thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you learned something from this. If not, start it over and watch it again. Till next time, guys. See ya. I guess all that matters is that it's trimmed. <laughs>